that's going on while we were streaming, so I, I just looked up really quick. So two things. One, Battletoads got announced. The game. They showed a trailer. I told you. You didn't believe me. You didn't believe me. No, I believe Battle it. Battletoads was I shown. I don't care. Anyways, Dude, come on. No. What, what, what next happened? Come on, man. Oh, no, you know what? Do you guys know something else? Yeah. Fantasy Star Online 2 is coming to the West. Oh. Yeah. Finally, after like 10 wow. years. Remember when they announced it and they released Dude, the game? Nintendo is somewhere, somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a good time. Huh? He has a mouse pad from PSO2, man. Because they, they, they had the uh, English website put up for that game in 2011 or 2012 wow. or something ridiculous like that. But you know what? This is no, neither Battletoads nor Fantasy Star Online, man. It I is mean, not. Battletoads are coming Tuesday, but here yep. we go. PS2. Krom versus Fox. Ooh. Eon versus Cryo. Yeah. Now, uh, Eon, we saw earlier on, you know, uh, representing the Fox Extraordinaire, one of the uh, best Foxes in Southern California. You know, him, Fo uh, Larry, Larry, have always been going back and forth, back in the yeah. Smash 4 days, and including in this as well. And, uh, you know, this is on the loser side now, though. We're trying to determine who's going to be on the top eight of the uh, lower side of the bracket. Right. You know, this is the, no longer, you don't have your extra life anymore yeah. to work with. And meanwhile, I got Cryo over here representing Krom Extraordinaire, and you know he's got that sword, but he's also a fastball, which makes him incredibly susceptible to being able to get combos. And Eon just tied up his head. Yeah. Like you saw, his <laughs> wait there gets the up smash, waits for him to roll on stage, gets connects yet another up smash. He did not let him play at all. No, wow. man, it was done for. Yeah, right off the bat. I'm trying to go for cross up up here, not gonna get anything to land there. Just trying to get something started. Finally gets the F to this mob side stage. A little damage, cool. Good stuff. Double edge in. Need a bit more though. Yeah, a little bit more damage off of that. And you know, he's doing a good job not getting hit too much so far in this little, like second single. Only, tra only taking a trade so far. This is a down air. Oh, oh no, that's you're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was not. Yeah, bad. that I'm, is man, without a without a second thought. Bam! I'm gonna be real, dude. That was not bad. Like, like honestly, when you see Fox going for Firefox like that. Is, as long as you time it correctly, you can get a down air spike and just delete him. Not even just stage, that. Uh, in this game, Fox. Pierce his head above. So there's certain situations where you literally can counter on the stage and actually get that hit as well. But there's just not enough people doing it. And I respect why Cryo went for the counter because the, like that's a good option to go for. However, the wall of PS2 allows Eon to be able to hug it so he can avoid the counter. And it puts you, it's, it's dangerous to go for That's the thing, it's dangerous to go for it. Yeah. So if you whiff like he did, just did, he paid the ultimate price, man. Lost the stock at like zero. But here we go, see if we try to capitalize this back on. He's doing a good job of trying to play this pull out. Against Eon. I, I like the poke with the down tilt. Down tilt being one of Krom's safest moves in his arsenal. Okay, I, I like that. He's, he, he wants to see like how he's going to react out of the jab yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What, what is your instinct? And his instinct is to go for the air dodge inwards. Okay, yeah, nice swing. I can really get the back air out of that. Whenever you see Krom or Roy going for a jab, usually the, their mind is how to kind of do a back air. Doesn't even need it though, gets the four tilt. It's going to be a. Uh, up B at a shield when you're on the ledge Easy. like that, but there. And this should be a stock. Wait! Yeah. Oh, he oh. had to go to the right. Oh, yeah. That was smart from Eon. He opted to go for the Firefox below the stage because if he would have got caught by that up B, like even though it got nerfed like in one of the very first patches in Ultimate, if you're that close to the bottom of the blast zone, he's a fast faller. Fox will die first. Yes. Fox will die first 100% there. So that's why you saw Eon just kind of kind of dip. That, that that up B is like you know what I mean I, I don't need to get back to this stage I just need to avoid that swing mm -hmm. that was that was priority number one and that was great awareness for me on yes <laughs> very good <laughs> almost lost his soul that one man. You, you don't want that back I mean, that would have been devastating that wow oh. <laughs> all right man <laughs> <laughs> Mr Photogenic <laughs> you got it baby we got our cameraman out here man we, we definitely got, got a good. cameraman here. <laughs> Having a good time. Town and city. Eon taking away game number one. Gonna jump into the counter pick stage. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Up there being a great combo starter for Krom. It yeah. comes out super quick. Frame five, one of the fastest attacks in the game. Next to like what? Jab. Absolutely. Runs up, gets a grab, wants to get him with the uh flare blade. Yeah, on the opposite stage. To get it. Look at that oh, yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah, jab can connect into forward smash like that if they don't like DI correctly yeah, or sure fast forward. Or yep. you get a counter hit jab. Um, like if you basically, if someone's landing into you, uh, sometimes they're going to be dying for it because their attention was to hit you. Uh, same thing if they dash in, you hit them with a jab. And if in that case, then uh, because that's one hit, you will have a situation in which they'll just get hit by that forward smash right after. Really good stuff. There we go, the down throw, trying to play it safe on this platform. You see him trying to space up these back airs. Great parry, allows him. He doesn't want to go for the follow-up, he just wants to get back to the stage. Honestly, 
whatever. You know, you're at a disadvantage at this point. He's in the shine to try to get, buy himself some vertical space. Cryo starting to bring us back bit by bit. Yes, definitely playing a, a bit better this time around. The setup going to be there in time. I love that jab. Bear get him all the way side the stage. What's the setup? He's trying to pull with the down tilt as well. You know, he'll get a lot out of, out of that down tilt. He's set up for a tech read. But again, wow. Cryo's been going for ledge attacks a lot of the time. And it's not, it's one of the, the least safe things you could go for. I'll go for saber stuff like jab. Jab in the back there. But like, when you're on the stage, you're trying to go for the jump or something. Right. Roll also not the safest option to go for. Allows you to be able to react to it. True. Dash attack coming in. Yeah, I love Flares. it. Damage. Big Easy damage. He pushes him off down. and he's dead. Oh my god, that was so sexy. That's the second time we've seen Eon go for a self destruct that kill. Was, and yo, that was I love Yo, you see Fox? You see Fox? That idle animation? He's like, come here, boy. Come here, speaking Japanese. Like, yo, me not meet the gray. Let's go. We go forward air. Hey, that was actually crisp. Yo, oh, he needs moving. Hold on a second. He's dead. No. Yo! That jumps. He had air dodge Yo, this stage. Yo, he was moving. He is moving. His entire game was in Cryo's favor, but now, like, something happened. Yo, that happened. ain't Cryo, man. Cryogenics, dude. These guys are sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you are done. My man's in the freezer. <laughs> okay, there he goes. Neutral air. Ooh, good parry coming out for Neon. Oh, my man is just moving around him, too. What is this? This is Fox McCloud. Yeah, honestly. Look, I like I like that bait out there. There, he tried to land down with the first jump. Ops go for the double jump to try to bait out a reaction from Cryo. Ops get a grab, forward throws him just for stage control. Cryo, he's slowing down the pace. Oh, you see Crom walking now. Yep. Oh, okay, okay. Wait a minute. We know the kill power of this character is stupid, and I love it. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> You like to rob. <laughs> now, oh, there oh we go. Gosh. Up smash, man. No robbery today. Nope. Flash kick. Yo, there it is, man. Yo, know, that move is actually called uh, in uh, Melee. I think it was called like flip kick or something like that. Flip jump, flip kick, something some along those lines in Melee. Shut if you up. go, in, if you actually go into the trophies uh -huh, back in Melee. Well, that's you know, great, Austin. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Anyways, back to the match here. <laughs> Jordan Bam. Well, yo, great time. Uh, oh, <laughs> Dude, I just I need to be Jordan Kent. He's the GOAT. Yo, Jordan Kent is the GOAT, man. But you know what? He's neither here nor there, man. You know what? I don't I, see him. He was there yesterday. I'm going to be here for my boy, dude. Yo, honestly, I, I love Presidential. Him. No, he's yo. so good. He, he, he's the president. He's the president president. of commentary. Yes. Anyways, anyways. I'm Pokemon not, trainer? Him, but he's so good. Ooh, okay. Try to, try to do a nasty off stage. Okay, so Pokemon trainer coming out from Eon. Wants to try, try to mix up the change of base here. Because yeah. he's got plenty of games to play with, right? He's only needs to win one more in these next three. So now Cryo put on the hot chair. Yep. He has to win three games in a row. That's just wild that he decided, like, you know what? I'm going to squirt, squirt, man. You got it. But now we got Ivysaur. This is like the brunt of a lot of Pokemon trainers' uh, roster, right? Yep. This character just does so devastating damage against you. Allows you to be able to combo you. Wow. In the middle of the stage. <laughs> just look at him. Give him a look, man. You know, Wait, you, you, know, you know when the girl gives you a look? That's what I used to do. Oh, 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 where are you going, man? You, you, you got to push B, not A, man. You gotta, dang, he'll eat you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down there. Right now, Cryo backing up with these neutral airs. Trying to poke him back a bit with the down tilt. Mm -hmm. Big game. Right? Yep. Oh, we're not going to get an extension for the up air. Not letting him land. Yeah, so a lot of times we've seen these down throws, it looks like uh, um, Cryo's been going for the like short, rising short hop up air instead of going for a short hop into a up air fastball. Um, that's really what you need to get. Uh, time is a little bit tighter, obviously, but the reward is so worth it because that's when you're able to get another up air extension. Uh, you can go into uh, bears and stuff too. It's just really, really good solid damage up there. You don't want to leave that damage on the table against a caliber of player uh, like Eon. Oh, 100%. But there we go. Gonna miss the tech. Cryo going for the optimal solution. Runs up there, gets a four tilt. Things are starting to slip away from Eon. And uh, I think he thought he had a double jump, but maybe he lost it somewhere. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, uh, we've all been there, man. Yep. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Not get the extension. Now, so that's going to be Krom's like, biggest reaction when, upon holding shield. Wait till yeah. you hit your shield, go for the up he has shield. It's 26 damage, Ooh. fresh. Yo, my man is moving. He loves him some Squirtle, man. Yeah. I mean, it's a fast, like, breakout character. You know, yeah, there. so fun. Bust through the defenses, has yep. a lot of, like, cool tools at his arsenal. Back in the Brawl days, you know, people used to say that Squirtle was, like, if he wasn't attached to Ivysaur and Charizard, he would have been one of the top tier characters. Yeah. You know? 
Absolutely. Because you had to swap back then. You know, in this game, you can play whatever character you want for as long as you want. Yeah. But it's just funny because, of course, uh, the world's not as good as it was. Right. It's all about the Ivysaur now. But Cryo quickly deleting this. Keep getting these jabs, really good spacing from Cryo. True. And you know how much Prom gets off of a jab. You see, every single time he lands that hit, it's usually gonna lead to like a back or at least a placement. Obstacle for the four throws a lot on the stage. Just like, move away. She's a really hungry for that grab. Not yet. Jab back here. He was hoping for a roll on the stage. You saw him placing True. himself to get that forward tilt. I think you're gonna see a good jump. Oh, never mind. Ooh, good. Good. That was a good reaction, because right there, a lot of characters like to like throw out their swings right before landing on down on the ground. That was a good, good way. And I was like, here comes the back air right here. Yeah. It's the parry. Throw out some more back airs, trying to keep him in his shield. He's not gonna let him jump. Yeah, yeah. I love the patience here. Reading fairs to a lot of justice here. This is the down airs that come into style yeah, from absolutely. Eon. But unfortunately for him, you know, Cryo was already above the stage, so he didn't die for it. Yeah. Die? Okay. He didn't die for that one. 137% against Charizard. This could be scary. Optimal there we go. Squirtle with draw, right. perhaps. If we get an optimal Squirtle play right here, this could be a very, very early stock. Here we go. Cryo. Oh my gosh. He just needed a That's a rough tilt. one. He was waiting for that tech in. Like, Cyrus has been going for that multiple times. Yeah. Uh, not going to get that. Not going to have it, man. And honestly, in that situation, when you see Squirtle getting ready to jump like that, just mash forward tilt. Mm -hmm. Like, that, that thing, like, when you have that little percent, you're not going to die to it. If you, it's like low risk, high reward kind of kind of deal, you know? Right, Just throw right, it out right. there. It, absolutely, it goes absolutely. so high in the air. Yeah. And a lot of people's like, first reactions out of shield is to jump, so it's just a really good tool. So yeah. we're, we're gonna put that Pokemon trainer away for a second. Eon's gonna bust back out the Fox and Cloud. Into game at number three, Kalos Pokemon League. Once again, Aeon's uh, pretty, one of Aeon's favorite stages he wants to go for. Yep. Yeah. Really good stage Really again. beautiful stage. Yeah. There we go, down tilt, kind of pop him up in the air. Yeah, down tilt's such a good tool. It's a little bit harder to land, but uh, it's a good reward here from the man. So he literally combos into pretty much everything. That's cool kick. Okay, I love this. This one, Nair's here, finally gets in the corner. Opportunity here for Cyro. Oh, oh no. he had to drift away. That, yeah. He had that forward smash with his name on it. Yeah, right. I don't think that, that could have killed with oh, oh, absolutely, absolutely. On the platform? Yeah. Uh, it seems that a lot of the times that we've seen from Cyro that he's been going for a lot of resets. It's not been really uh, having the full extended combo zone that you're used to seeing from a Kong or from a Roy. Uh, especially from like some like like Shoyo, right? Like Shoyo games, for example. And I think that's what's given him kind of problems because that stock could have been gone just from moving an up air bear and then going for edge guard. But we don't see that. How is Cryo alive right now? I feel like you should have died to that neutral earth. Mm -hmm. Saw, but he went to the left. Mm -hmm. Got flung into the wall. He's back on the stage, but Eon's still going to close out that stock. My yeah. god. But that bear will do it. Yeah, it's funny that you mentioned uh, Shoyo James because like that's like the that's the character player everyone thinks about when they think of Prom. Like, like he's the one like making splashes, getting in the top eight, getting ninth place. You know, Cryo doesn't want to just live in that dude's shadow forever, man. He wants to make his own breakout performance. No, I mean everyone does, man. I mean, yeah. uh, the, those are the kind of things that you you are looking for in that play to kind of grab the stock, just like that. Jab bear in that situation, yeah. and you'll be able to close out the stock. Really good stuff. Like if you want to learn the, the the importance of jabs, play a character like Rob, man. He will teach you like how safe that move is, and he can lead the kills eventually. Yep. Got for those baggers. Barely whipping that up tilt. Okay, a lot. Look at this pressure from Eon, not yes, allowing Cryo to play. Absolute pressure, man. Really good stuff. And you see Cryo actually spamming down tilt in that situation because it's the safest move. Like he does, it's a very low committal to go for, especially when he's like at that big of a disadvantage, you know. So why not just toss it off? Yeah, down tilt is very, very solid. I do believe that it's something around like minus six of those situations or minus eight. Super, yeah. um, so it's really, really good on shield. Uh, you cannot shield drop into the characters also because he low profiles a ton of things. A lot of times you just have to hold that on shield. It's a really, really solid setup. Oh my gosh. What I'm is going on? on? Yo. That was like three neutral airs into four dash that attacks. Like money, the hell? I love when this character gets going, it's so sick. Okay, Cryo trying to find his way. I I like that he's been using these uh, double edge dances mid air to just kind of like change the aerial momentum. Yeah. Get back down to the stage, trying to mix up how he's going to get back. Okay, plus out the air dodge. Jab yeah, into yeah, back air. That's all you need. Money maker, man. The classic. This is insanely doable for Cryo, but the problem is it's caught by one more swing from Aeon. Push him off stage. Some pressure. Just respects the upbeat. 
I don't even want to try. He's doing a scoring slash. Here we go. Double up airs. Catches the back air as he drifts into the air with the shine. Yeah. Momentum. The bear. He had to, to go for that. Probably was looking for a bear of his own. The down, down tilt. tilt. Big. Oh, man. Get away from that up air. Back on the platform. All the kicks in the he world. He tried to go for a parry. Scoring slash. Gets oh, back no on the there. ledge. Eon doesn't want to risk it. I think that's the thing. He doesn't feel confident going for it. So he has the lead. Just maintain safety control instead. But might be tossing away a victory at this point. Yeah. Cryo literally looking for this end. Jab. Push him away. Good response from Eon. Going for a quick option. Oh, my gosh. And that double stage. jump there to close out the stock. Wonderful play from Eon. Eon will continue on in this bracket. Unfortunately, Cyro, that will be the last that we will see him here today. But, man.